Howdy folks. I wanted to tell a few stories about some of the wonderful horses I've owned over 50 years. And boy, I've had some good ones. Not very many bad ones, but a lot of good ones and a lot of medium quality horses. But this story is about one of the best horses I ever had named Bucky Dent. Now there's a story to how Bucky got his name. He was a cold back son of a bitch. Every time you, every day when you got on him, he'd buck. He didn't just crow hop, he could buck. And you might as well let him get it over with. You could hold a tight rein or tie your lead rope up short on the saddle horn and he'd be all right. But the first chance he got, he'd go to bucking. So first thing in the morning, just let him drop his head and let him buck. And he was perfect the rest of the day. He never had to worry about him again. So that was the bucky part of his name. And he was a good pack horse too. He was as agile as a cat. But when you packed him, you know, most horses will bend around a tree or a rock or something, not Bucky Dent. He'd just bowl into stuff and let his momentum push him around that stuff. And He never did learn to bend around a tree or anything, but he was a heck of a horse. And a lot of guys wanted to borrow him because, like I say, he was so agile and so athletic. And He wasn't a big horse. He was about 950 pounds, maybe, a little dark bay. But he, I could take him through a rock slide that would kill any other horse I ever owned. And, Deadfall, he'd go through that stuff like a ninja. Nothing panicked him, and he was just as steady a horse as you could hope for in the high country. So I knew this guy, he was from Austria, and he had a work permit, and he was a ski instructor there at Big Sky, Montana. And he was quite a hunter. In Europe, if, to get a hunting license, you gotta go through four years of schooling. You gotta study conservation, habitat, the animal you're hunting. I mean, these people are good hunters. They're, they're the real deal. I wish America did a little more stuff like that. So he calls me one night and he's knocked down a big eight by nine bull elk way up in the bighorn sheep country and wanted me to pack it out. And I asked him where it was. I knew that country pretty well. It sounded like a pretty tough place. So he come over and showed me on the map right where it was and it, it was bad. But I thought we'll just walk old Bucky Dent up in there and I'll, I'll bet we can get it done. We did. We got in there and I broke that elk down and got him boned out and loaded up. And we were feeling pretty sassy about the whole thing because we were in some tough country and old Bucky Dent come through again. So I just got the lead rope over my shoulder and we're about six miles back in there. And right below Timberline in that country was this ghost forest of big bristle cones. Yeah, they were all dead, but they were probably a thousand years old and they'd been standing there dead for 20 years. It was just beautiful, these big white bark twisted trees. And we're easing along through there and all of a sudden Bucky Dent run into one of them with that half an elk packed on one side and I didn't know. I was just walking through this open timber with the lead rope over my shoulder and he snapped one of those big old bristle cones off at the ground and that thing come down and of course it hit me right in the back of the head and just knocked me out cold and split my head open pretty good too. So. I can imagine that poor Austrian, what he was going through for the next five, ten minutes, because first of all, he didn't like horses. Second of all, he was scared to death. And here we are with his world-class eight-by-nine elk on this horse, and the guy leading the horse is laying there out cold, bleeding. <laughs> I'm sure there was a few minutes of panic with that, but anyhow, I finally come to, and we got the bleeding stopped in my head, and brought old Bucky Dent all the way out of there with that elk. And, I was so proud of that horse. That was one of the toughest pack jobs he ever did. So with old Bucky, you might as well just lower them reins and let him get that bucking out of his system first thing in the morning, and then he was good to go the rest of the day. But packing him was a different story. That's where we got the dent part of his name. He never learned to bend around a tree, and you couldn't dare pack lanterns or your camp stove or anything else on him because by the time you got to camp, everything was dented. So that's how old Bucky Dent got his name. Old Bucky Dent was a hell of a mountain horse. He was pure quill mountain horse. Big bone, big feet, good hard, dark feet, short back, quiet in a pack string, never picked a fight with anybody. He was, he was everybody's dream for a mountain animal. And I got a lot of years use out of him. He even survived colic surgery one time. And he was one of the best. I'll always remember old Bucky Dent. <laughs>